today on Rappler. Typhoon Ruby International name Hagupit is expected to hit land Saturday afternoon. The Ombudsman suspends Police Chief Alan Purisima and 11 other officials. And a local bank says Eastern Europeans could be behind the skimming activities on ATMs in Metro Manila. Hello, I'm Ayi Makaraig. This is Rappler's Rap for the Day, a list of the most important events around the world you shouldn't miss. Typhoon Ruby, international name Hagupit, strengthens as it moves west-northwest towards eastern Visayas. State Weather Bureau Pagasa says the typhoon is expected to hit land in the eastern Samar, northern Samar area Saturday afternoon. The typhoon is estimated at 720 kilometers east of Surigao City with maximum sustained winds of 205 kilometers per hour near the center and gusts of up to 240 kilometers per hour. Storm signal number two is up over northern Samar, eastern Samar, Samar, Biliran, Leyte and southern Leyte, Dinagat Island and Shargao Island. Signal number one is up over Catanduanes, Albay, Sorsogon, Masbate including Tikau Island, Northern Cebu including Bantayan Island and Camotes Island, Bohol, Surigao del Norte, Surigao del Sur, Camigan Island, and Agusan del Norte. Storm surges of 3.5 to 4 meters are expected in parts of eastern Visayas. Authorities say the typhoon will likely hit or pass near areas yet to recover from Super Typhoon Haiyan, which killed more than 7,350 people in November last year. The Ombudsman suspends Philippine National Police Chief Director General Alan Purisima and 11 other officials. The order stems from the graft complaint filed last October against Purisima and at least 11 others over complaints the PNP entered into an anomalous contract involving gun owners' career fees. Purisima and the 11 officials will not be paid for the duration of the six-month suspension. Amnesty International says the tolerance of human rights abuses among Philippine police persists despite the country's image as a human rights champion. In its 2014 study, the group says torture is still rife and the overwhelming majority of torture involves police officers. Amnesty International Secretary General Satil Shetty says torture is still accepted because people think they can get away with it. Shetty adds the goal is to turn political rhetoric into action. On the legal side, everything is you know, pretty, sh pretty good. It's like by international standards, it's pretty good. So we were very shocked ourselves that when we started investigating the on-the-ground situation, that uh, why it's, there's such widespread use of torture uh, by the police forces. Uh, the issue is actually that there's a lot of uh, rhetoric and absolutely not enough action. Mm -hmm. Why do you Protests break out in New York City after a white police officer is not indicted in the choking death of a black man. Eric Garner died in July after being placed in a chokehold by New York police officer Daniel Pantaleo while being arrested on suspicion of selling untaxed cigarettes on Staten Island. The ruling comes just days after protests in Ferguson sparked by a grand jury decision not to indict a white policeman in the fatal shooting of unarmed black teenager Michael Brown. The Bank of the Philippine Islands, or BPI, says Eastern Europeans could be behind the skimming activities on its automated teller machines or ATMs. On Tuesday night, Photos circulated online of a tampered BPI ATM in Taguig City. The bank says this kind of ATM scam is similar to the tactics used by recently apprehended Bulgarians. In two separate incidents, police arrested several Bulgarians caught using card skimming devices. In 2013, the Philippine Central Bank received 1,972 reports of ATM fraud from banks involving a combined amount of 220 million pesos. 
For the full stories, click on the links on your screen. And for those of you watching on mobile, the links can be found on the titles on the article. You can also click on the tabs below to get to a story in the video. Every story on Rappler has a mood meter which gives you eight emotions to choose from. Looking at today's mood navigator, the story with the biggest circle is Big Chance Typhoon Hagupit will hit the Philippines. According to Pag-asa, 70% of readers feel afraid while 18% are sad. Today, most people are afraid. That's the wrap for today, Thursday, December 4th, 2014. Visit Rappler.com for the latest news here and around the world. Check out our other shows, Tech Rap and Talk Thursday. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Ayi Makaraig, and as we say at Rappler, tomorrow begins today.